Hello again and welcome to another edition of When in Vietnam. If you're a fan of board games, then this episode is just for you. In Greet and Meet, we will visit the factory where every board game is handcrafted. These gorgeously made games will certainly make you want to sit down and play with your friends. And if that doesn't make you feel nostalgic to see your childhood toys, how about when you used to play with clays? In Local Buzz, we will meet a young lady who believes there really is space for art toys like this to exist in the modern era. And last but not least, when in Vietnam we'll have some suggestions for where you can unleash your creativity and craftsmanship skills in Ho Chi Minh City with some of the coolest DIY workshops. So, let's begin and start this adventure with our host, Mika Chu. Xin chào tất cả mọi người. I am Mika Chu, a Manemsic content creator in Ho Chi Minh City. I am Russian French and my life took a drastic turning point the day I decided to learn Tingvit. Indeed, it helped me to understand better about the culture, the people and simply enjoy better the Vietnamese food. And can you believe it? I've been living here for more than six years. During my time here, I have witnessed a lot of changes. And if there is one thing that I learned from the COVID-19 pandemic is that Ho Chi Minh City has the strength to overcome all obstacles to become even more attractive than before. If you're looking for fun and excitement, this is the right place to be. In this series of When in Vietnam, you are going to discover what the city has to offer. So let's go. at this beauty, handmade with so much precision. And I am about to meet the man behind this beautiful board game and so many others. He has put a lot of efforts and dedication to always put a little Vietnamese touch in his art. From ancient classics like chess, to more modern staples like Monopoly and Ludo, well-designed, well-crafted, and clever packaging, which gives brilliant games like these near-infinite replayability. These board games have been popular for thousands of years around the world. But what is a board game to be exact? As easy as it sounds, a board game is a game that involves counters or pieces that are moved on a board according to a certain set of rules. But in today's world, these are not simply just games anymore. Handmade and heartmade by Mastermind, just like any piece of art, these games can transcend their place of origin and bring meaning to people all over the globe. I'm very happy to introduce you to Antoine, the man behind Mastermind. Hi, Mr. Tuan. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm so happy to present to the audience the creator of Mastermind. Thank you. As a board game lover in this episode, it's time for me to discover one of your more emblematic pieces of art, right? Chess board. I'm going to open it. Oh my God, it's heavy. It's heavy. Wow. Look at this. 
It's very nice. <laughs> I would like to ask you first, like, how did you get the idea of Mastermind and what is Mastermind? Actually, Mastermind is a board game brand that everything made by hand. And we are a group of designers, artists and craftsmen. We would love to make some handcrafted board games and bring it to the world. But made in Vietnam? But made in Vietnam. Only by hand? Only by hand. I was wondering, what's the difference between your product and the product that we find in mass production? In a supermarket, for example. As you can see, all of the products here are mixed up material. They never be like one material, like paper, like mass production. Like this Chinese chest, it's a combination between walnut, wood, and leather. Then our craftsmen have to uh, combine it by hand. There's no machine can do that. And that's how you make sure that you have the highest quality possible, I guess. Exactly. And you mentioned the people that are doing these beautiful games. I was wondering how many people working daily in the factory? This business, they require skillful workers, skillful craftsmen. Then uh, we have about 70 people only. We try to build the process of building every single product from designing into R&D, into uh, quality control. <laughs> even like the way that we pack the products. And what is the maximum capacity that you can do per day for different games, of course? Yeah, it depends on the games, but usually one day we make about 200 to 300 pieces only. That's why I said quantity is limited, but quality. Yeah. That's why we focus a lot into the quality. In a world filled with mass produced goods, it can often feel like we've lost that handmade touch. Understanding the value of craftsmanship and using the advantages of having skillful Vietnamese workers, Mazda Mines board games are an outstanding example of carpentry. Since each product is unique and no products are exactly the same. Choosing handmade over mass production, Mazda Mines products are created from a blend of strong and durable materials such as brass, and cement, or soon to be including materials such as ceramic and lacquer. These are materials which add long-lasting value over time and help reduce waste to the environment. Most of your competitors do mass market products. What is the challenge, the difficulty when you do a premium product in Vietnam? All the company, they just buy a machine and then they can make it. But for this kind of business, you cannot buy a machine. You have to come up with a nice idea and a design and an execution plan. I know it's very difficult, but I believe the difficulties can create the barrier to entry for all the competitors and which make us stand out on the market. And how do you change consumer attitude? Because I guess most of the consumers are used to have like a board of chairs, which is very affordable, doesn't cost much. How do you make them be more aware of the quality? We try to input our own language mm -hmm. and then it's a little bit quirky, a little bit fun, so that the players can enjoy not only the beauty of the handcrafted board games, but also the story. And then via the game, the people, they also can learn about the culture. Well, I think it's impossible to, to not love it, honestly. Even if you don't play games, because it's so well done, so many details, like I said, it's becoming art. Most of my customers, I think, they have to love art, they have to love the beauty of a design. So I can tell, like, most of my customers are art lovers. Many young Vietnamese people love board games because it can create a kind of community. From hand-painted backgammon sets and designer dominoes, to wooden dominoes collections, a chic new board game will provide a refreshing edge to your game night and even hold a decorative value to deck out your coffee table with its beautiful designs. That's why more and more young people actively search for board games that are as nice to look at as they are as fun to play with. Mình rất thích các cái trò chơi được làm ở đây Mình thấy nó được làm một cách rất là tinh xảo Và cái trò chơi để nó nó đẹp hơn mà toàn bộ cái trải nghiệm chơi của mình nó được thích hơn Mình rất thích các cái trò như là cờ tỷ phú Vì ở đây họ lồng ghép những cái yếu tố của Việt Nam, của thành phố Hà Nội, thành phố Hồ Chí Minh Những địa danh như nhà tù hỏa lò hay là cột cờ Mình nghĩ những bộ đồ trò chơi này sẽ rất phù hợp để làm quà tặng cho khách du lịch hoặc là người nước ngoài vì 
một phần đây cũng là những trò chơi mà họ cũng có thể quen thuộc nhưng mà khi mà họ được biết những cái phiên bản Việt Nam của những những trò chơi này mình tin họ sẽ thấy thích thú. You know, I think it's really great what you're doing because in our world we are so used to phones, laptops, and it's so great that you continue this tradition of chess games, of Monopoly. So it's like kind of coming back in the past to reconnect with each other. I love the keyword that you just mentioned is the connect. Actually, what our core values is connectivity, craftsmanship, and gifting. So this kind of product is not only a board game itself, it's, a, it's something that helps people connect together because no one plays board game alone. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, it's a home they copies and then it's a very nice gift product to people around the world. Indeed, we can see how much you care about your customers, about the final product. And I was wondering, what can you tell us about the people who use your game, who play with your game? Actually, the consumer, they love the premium products, but not so many players, not so many companies, they they provide premium products. Some other company in Italy or England, they provide a very high-end like luxury product. This is a luxury. This is the mass production. This one, a few. This one, a lot. But this one, this spectrum, not many. So we would love to penetrate into that market. Well, you do it quite well. We very are on well. the way. You're very well on the way. Where can we find your products? At this moment, we ship uh, to the US and Europe. But uh, next month, we will launch Mastermind brand in Singapore. Wow, that's big news. So what is the ambition of Mastermind in the long run? In the long run, I would love to create a, a local brand that go international. Oh. Yeah, in order to, to make a local brand go international, I think uh, we need to focus into uh, our core. Our core is uh, the product. So that's why we focus a lot into our product first. And then after we have a good quality product, and then the rest is, uh, we just try to distribute it to the world by e-commerce. The global board games market is estimated to be worth over 7.2 billion US dollars and is set to rise to 12 billion US dollars by 2023. For Mastermind, as a new player which has just joined the global industry, its mission has stayed the same since its first founding to bring games rich in intellectual value to Vietnam. And most of all, to add Vietnamese cultural elements to each design to show to the world. Fireflies on the moon. Straws and silly ducks. Bebe family. These art toys are made from clay. Using such familiar material, the founder of Tdo Workshop has created many signature characters, possessing a unique and artistic look. Each product is not only skillfully handmade, but it is also sophisticated and unique. Và cái năm sinh viên năm nhất thì vô tình biết được cái bộ môn đất sét. Đất sét là đất sét tự khô. Tây Du làm đâu khoảng 4 năm đại học rồi đã từ từ là lĩnh vực đất sét này cũng được tới giờ là cũng cỡ mười mấy năm. From a childhood hobby, Tidu channeled her creativity into making clever incredibly eye-catching objects and characters for many advertising campaigns and short movie projects. Using clay modeling, she built herself an impressive portfolio that is deeply satisfying for any childhood soul. trong cái quá trình làm việc của Tiêu thì hiện tại Tiêu đang thấy là ngành tạo hình này thì 
ngoài cái việc là làm quà lưu niệm nè rồi làm sản phẩm đồ chơi thì nó còn ứng dụng ở trong cái mảng gọi là quảng cáo ví dụ như người ta muốn làm phim hoặc là giống như khách hàng họ muốn chụp một bộ ảnh đi chẳng hạn và họ muốn là mình tạo hình nhân vật và phối cảnh ở trong cái không gian đó thì mình có thể tạo hình ra được cái đó mình kết hợp với những chất liệu khác để cho nó đa chất liệu cho nó phong phú hơn You can squish it, poke it, punch it, roll it, pile it, mold it, shape it. Thanks to its tendency to act like plastic as it hardens when baked or dried, playing with clay is fun, regardless of your age. This is why both children and adults join Tidu's workshops, to not only learn how to make their favorite characters, but also to let their imagination run wild and free. Đối với những cái sản phẩm mà gọi là theo cái ạt của Tiju thì Tiju nghĩ là chắc là mình định hình ra một cái nhân vật và mình sẽ làm những cái chi tiết nhân vật nó theo cái hướng mình mình muốn mình vẽ thì sau đó làm lâu dài thì người ta sẽ tự thấy có một cái nét riêng của nhân vật của Tiju. Đối với Tiju luôn luôn học hỏi Tại vì đam mê là nặng đất xét Nhưng mà rất là muốn là tạo ra những cái nhân vật Và nhân vật đó là của riêng mình Tại vì là mỗi cái nhân vật nó đều có một câu chuyện riêng Cái đó mới là cái mục đích cuối cùng của Tiju Ở trong cái nghề này Nó cũng giống như là bạn vẽ một cái bức tranh một Bạn làm một quyển sách à, Thì người khác sẽ đón nhận cái nghệ sĩ đó À cái người đó là tác giả của quyển sách đó Quay lại actor này cũng vậy là à, Tác giả của cái món đồ chơi đó là cái người này tại có những sản phẩm đang hướng tới khách hàng Việt Nam khi mà làm ra một con sản phẩm thì cái giá thành của nó cũng khá cao người Việt họ mua cũng không có nhiều cho nên một phần nào đó nó bị giới hạn hiện tại thì vẫn có khách hàng Việt Nam bắt đầu họ ủng hộ nó đang phát triển dần mà đất nước mình đang phát triển dần và thì mọi thứ nó sẽ phát triển và nó sẽ có một cái suy nghĩ khác của Tiju thì thứ nhất là về bản thân sẽ luôn luôn là tìm tòi học hỏi cái mới để mà mình xây dựng cái nhân vật cũng như là cái ạt của Tiju được nhiều người đón nhận hơn Vì hiện tại là cộng đồng làm ạt toy ở Việt Nam cũng khá là nhiều rồi thì mong muốn là nhiều bạn trẻ mà đang đam mê về cái hướng công việc này à, các bạn cứ mạnh dạn coi như nó là một cái để mà mình tìm tòi mình học hỏi nó sẽ là một ngành nghề phát triển trong tương lai And as usual, it's time to discover some of the DIY workshops in the city to help you get inspired, create, learn, and certainly bring you joy. Whether you're a perfume enthusiast or simply looking for a fun date idea, attending a perfume workshop where you get to craft a personalized bottle of perfume will make for a great experience. In Ho Chi Minh City, you are more than welcome to experience a unique perfume making workshop at Note, the scent lab. It's all about finding your nose and creating a fragrance unique to you. 
learn about perfumes, have a fun time with your partner or friends, and support local brands at the same time, what's not to like? If you think baking is fun, then you might not want to miss out on the open space. Every weekend, the baking workshop is open for everyone who loves to learn how to bake and how to decorate a cake. Joining a baking workshop will ultimately stimulate your senses, boost your creativity, and best of all, you'll end up with assorted delicious treats to share with your loved ones. As the saying goes, no one is born a great cook, one learns by doing. So why not try it now? Similar to any handcrafted item, making pottery requires us to focus carefully and meticulously following the above movements on the ceramic turntable. Therefore, making pottery is a very effective method of relaxation, mental therapy and stress reduction. When participating in a pottery class, you will receive instructions from the beginning to end from experienced ceramicists. It may take a few tries and some unfortunate smudging, but eventually you will create a true work of art to be proud of. And that also wraps up this edition of When in Vietnam. We hope you find some inspiration to connect and bond with your friends and family despite living in the time of modern technological society. When in Vietnam, we'll be back with more stories on the cultural scene in Ho Chi Minh City. Until next time, bye for now. I had another question, but I just forgot what I wanted to ask about the customers. Okay.